Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, when do we use implicit and explicit weights in Selenium? Let me answer. So let's say you are writing an automation script. Let's say you are writing this automation script. In this automation script, there are several web elements involved. Okay, in this automation script, these are the web elements. Okay, so a single automation script can have any number of web elements, right? Assume that these are the web elements, and if this all these elements are taking less than ten seconds, okay, this element let's say is taking like uh, two seconds, for example. This uh, this this element is taking let's say five seconds, three seconds, one second, four second, six seconds, okay, uh, two seconds, five seconds, and again uh, you know. Five seconds. Okay, so if you see each and every web element uh, that I have written here in this automation script is not taking more than ten seconds. In such cases, do you have to use implicit weight or explicit weight? The answer is implicit weight. Okay, since all these elements are not taking more than ten seconds to uh, get appeared on the page, so. If I declare this implicit weight at the global level, implicit weight is a global weight. Basically, implicit weight is a global weight. Once you write, it will be applicable for all the elements. Okay, so I'll just mention this implicit weight uh, for a maximum wait time of ten seconds. The task will be done. I don't have to wait for individual elements. Rather, I'll I'll create an implicit global weight and I'll mention maximum timeout as uh, ten seconds. So as these elements are not taking more than you know ten seconds, this will be okay. But what if there's another scenario where these are automation script and let's say these are the web elements in the script. Okay, these are the web elements in the script. So let's say this element is taking two seconds, this one is taking five seconds, this one three seconds, this one four seconds, uh, this one one second. This one is taking 20 seconds. Okay, and this one is taking uh, three seconds, two seconds, and this one is taking 30 seconds. So there's a situation. You see, there are some web elements which are taking more than 10 seconds. So this part, this area, these elements, okay, which I have marked here, two, five, three, four, one, three, two, are taking less than 10 seconds. For them, implicit weight, weight will be enough. Implicit, implicit weight will be enough. Global weight will be enough. Okay, for max of uh, 10 seconds, if you declare only one time you write, it will be okay. But there are other two elements. This implicit weight will not be applicable. I cannot put implicit weight as 20 or 30 seconds. Okay, there's a problem. Okay, implicit weight, you cannot put 20 or 30 seconds, max 20, 10 seconds. If if at all, next level, 15 seconds. In some rare projects, you just give the implicit weight as 15 seconds, but not more than 10 seconds in most cases. Okay, but there are some elements which are taking more than 10 seconds, that is 20 and 30 seconds. For them, we'll be using explicit weight. Okay, only for this element, we'll wait, explicit weight. Only for this element, we are going to explicitly wait. Okay, for the remaining elements, all together, global weight, implicit weight will be there. For these two elements, explicit weight will be there. Okay, we have to specially wait for this element. We have to specially wait for this element. Okay, we cannot make this uh, time as uh, implicit weight because uh, if there is any problem here, the script has to wait for total time. Okay, let's say there is a locator problem here. So we know that uh, only two seconds, but uh, since locator problem is there, if, uh, even though this particular thing fails, it has to wait till 30 seconds. That is the problem. Okay, if it fails, that's the reason it's not recommended to provide implicit weight as 30 seconds and all. Okay, implicit weight is a global weight applicable for all the elements which are taking, uh, not taking more than 10 seconds. Okay, explicit weight is a specific weight if a particular element is taking 10 seconds, more than 10 seconds. Okay, like 20 or 30 or 40. Only for that elements we'll wait. That is explicit weight. It's not a global weight. It is an element. Web element specific weight, whereas this one is a global weight applicable for all the elements in the script. Okay, so let me practically demonstrate this uh, how to implement simplicity explicit. So, here this is some sample code. So, where we are launching the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser window, and opening this application URL in the browser. After that, we are clicking on a button, then we are selecting this flip card option. Now, if I implement the implicit weight here, driver dot manage dot, okay, timeouts, 
This is how we have to implement the implicit implicit weight. Okay, driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly weight. Here I have to give the time that is duration dot of seconds and uh, we should not, we should be given like uh, not more than ten seconds here. Okay, so this will be applicable. This implicit weight will be applicable for all the elements. How many elements are there in this particular script? Driver dot find element. This is one element. For this implicit will weight will be applicable. Whereas this element also implicit weight will be applicable. Okay. For these two elements, implicit weight will be applicable. Okay. Because it is a global weight applicable for all the elements. For example, in this uh, in this script, in this uh, automation script, only this elements require weighting. This element doesn't require weighting. So instead of implicit weight, we can we can implement explicit weight here. Okay. Only for this element, I want to wait. If you want to wait for all the elements, then implicit weight is a correct thing. If you want to wait for a particular element, then explicit weight. How to create the explicit weight? You have to write like this web driver weight. Weight is equal to new web driver weight. For the mouse, import this web driver weight from Selenium. And uh, here, write driver, comma, duration dot of seconds. Give the maximum time, let's say 30 seconds, okay? Max 30 seconds. We're explicitly waiting for a particular element here. Not all the elements, only for a particular element you are waiting. Okay, wait dot until expected conditions dot visibility of uh, element located. This particular element by dot link text you have to give here. That's it. You are waiting for only this element now. Done. You are waiting only for the flip cut option, not for this drop down button and all. Okay, this is what is explicit wait. So hope guys you understood uh, what is implicit weight and explicit weight. Implicit weight is a global weight. Once uh, created, right, it will be applicable for all the web elements in that particular script. Okay, we have to use implicit weight where uh, when we want when you want to create a global weight which is uh, which will be applicable for all the elements in the script. That is that is when we use implicit weight. Whereas if you want to wait for a particular element, okay, only for a particular element if you want to wait, not all the elements in the script. Only for a particular element if you want to wait, then you can go for the explicit weight. Okay. So I have demonstrated this explicit weight here, all right? Implicit weight also I demonstrated already. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.